Uh, hello everyone, my name is Barrett, and today I'm going to talk about marine sediment sustained the creation of a missing fluvial tidal delta. And as the picture of the red circle is delta. Uh, before my presentation, I want to let you know what is TGD. The full name of TGD is Sri Gorge which is the hydro power station in the world and is located in China. Here is the picture. Here is the picture about China map. And here is the location about TGD. This is the picture about TGD. Uh, let's go to the introduction. Human interference has frequently affected the coastal area. And the reservoir congestion caused most of the world delta have now been significantly dead in their upper and central reaches. Here is the picture about reservoir congestion. And here is upper reaches and central reaches and estuary. But the research found out that there are other delta accretion has occurred despite the low sediment supply. So to understand why this happened, they investigated one of the largest delta in the world, Changjiang Delta. And this is the picture about Changjiang Delta. Uh, after TGD was built in 1995, the annual river suspends sediment supplies to the estuary declined by over 50%. This is the picture about sediment, eh, suspend sediment. Uh, although the TGD was built in 1995, the research showed that both erosion and deposition has occurred in Changjiang estuary. Uh, here is erosion and deposition. So the research investigate the evolution of Eastern Chongming Shore, and I will refer ECS in my presentation, uh, which is the more mature wetland in Changjiang estuary and the most preferred place for sediment deposition. So this is the picture about ECS, and this is the entire of Changjiang Delta. This is the question that we want to explore. Even though the dam reduced the sediment in the estuary, but why still some delta growth has occurred? Let's go to the medicine and result. The research product a unique data set combining different morphological survey of the ECS from 1984 to 2013. The morphological means the place we investigate maybe for one year or two years, it is called the firm of logical. And the same place we continue investigate, so maybe for two years or three years, is called the second of logical. So we totally have seven of logical. And the survey will come down using Dow frequency echo sounder to investigate water thief. Dow frequency echo sounder is a kind of sound wave device. And here is the result of using Dow frequency echo sounder. The red line represents Two, deep, uh, 2 meter deep of water, and blue line represents 0 deep meter of water. And so that and GPS device were used for survey in 1984 to 2013 with the position. Here is the picture about Seodali, and it can detect latitude and longitude. And Changjiang Water Resource Commission will provide yearly suspended sediment, discharge, discharge and suspended sediment concentration. Changjiang Water Resource Commission is a kind of China government institution. Yeah. And sediment discharge means release. And this investigation will from Dadong Major Station during 1984 to 2018. Here is the picture about Dadong Station, and here is East China Sea. And the research will deviate from Dadong Station to East China Sea into 16 station. Each station has the same physical property. And this will allow checking the amount of suspend or amount of sediment delivered from each station to ECS. Here is Dadong Station and here is ECS. East is here. And this is East China Sea. So let's go to the result. And this picture is about entire Changjiang Delta, and here is ECS. 
So uh, the color getting blue means the first one getting erased, and the color getting red means the first one getting deposition. And picture A and picture B is before and after TGD was built. You can see that after TGD was built, most of the plates were getting erased. And let's see picture C compared to picture B. Uh, the erased part get became into deposition part. And let's see picture D. The deposition part is more than the picture C. And picture E compared to picture D, you can see that just here getting erased, but other first are getting demonstration. And picture F compared to picture E, you can see that more of the place are getting deposition, but only here are getting erased. So picture G is from 1984 to 2030. You can see that most of the place are, eh, the deposition part is more than erosion part. And picture H is the net value change rate. Only 1990 to 1997 were getting decreased, but other are getting increased. So the picture we can know that the area of deposition and erosion are different in each picture. This means it's irregular. And this is the picture, this is the next picture. And SEG is for year, from 1984 to 2018. And why is it is for tidal flat area? And the blue plan represent tidal flat area change rate. You can see, at 1984 to 1997 is before and after TGD was built. As the picture, as the picture you can know that only 1984 to 1997 were getting decreased, but when 1997 to 2018 were getting increased. So the picture we can know that the construction of TGD is not completely related to the amount of sediment and the area of delta. And this is the picture about Dalo Station to East China Sea. And here is ECS. Uh, the SEC is from Dadong to East China Sea. And YEC is for sediment fractions. And the blue bar represents the concentration of suspended sediment after TGT was built. And the yellow bar represents the concentration of suspended sediment before TGT was built. So the, this picture show that the suspended sediment concentration are declined by the construction of TGD from 0 0.55 to 0 0.14. But the, most of the suspended sediment are accumulated nearly the East China Sea, not in here. And picture B is another form of picture A. They represent the same seeds. And picture B tell us that most of the suspended sediment are accumulating nearly the East China Sea. So the both pictures show that a amount of suspended sediment are mainly derived from area close to estuary. So let's go to the discussion. Because Changjiang Delta has long shore current of the river mouth, this is the picture about long shore current. It can cause the marine sediment accumulate to estuary. And these longshore currents are relatively strong. This can thus contribute to landward sediment transport. But other delta which have microtidal ridges. Microtidal ridges means the place which have weak wave or weak tidal or weak current. Uh, they will inhibit faster than those following the reduction of relevant sediment. Relevant sediment is means that the sediment is come from river, not in ocean. And marine sediment might be able to initially relieve the impact of this, this decreasing sediment supplies. But a continuous decline in fluvial sediment still can cause sediment starvation. So let's go through the question that we talked before. Because the area that have strong longshore current, wave, or tidal, and which will cause marine sediment accumulate in Delta, but this is only a temporary phenomenon. Same for uh, First, I see uh, some points are different in, in the slide. Uh, but you, 
you it launched a lot of image, uh, so we can see the detail on the image. It, this is very good. And uh, besides, uh, you and Matt Matt to connect the your data, so we can know the 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 connection between those data. Uh, you use um, many pictures to explain, but your both type have some different 